in this video we are going to discuss about the polygenic inheritance and wheat skin color is example so first of all we will discuss about what is qualitative and quantitative character so qualitative character the character is not dependent on number of dominant alleles or we can define qualitative trait the type of inheritance in which a phenotype of a trait express according to the type of allele present is called qualitative trait as you see here that the genotype is capital double t and here it is heterozygous and here it is a homozygous so the number of dominant allele in this case is 2 and it produces the height of 10 cm and in heterozygous condition the dominant allele is 1 and it also produces 10 cm so it depends upon the quality of alleles while homozygous palm it produces 5 cm and quantitative character the character is dependent on number of dominant alleles not on the type of alleles but it depends upon the number of dominant allele it is known as quantitative character in quantitative character can also be defined the type of inheritance in which phenotype of trait express according to the number of alleles present is called quantitative character. For example, in this case, it have 10 dominant alleles, so their height is 200 centimeter. It have 8 dominant allele, it had 180 centimeter height. 6 dominant 160 centimeter 5 150 and no dominant allele 100 centimeter will be the height of so we can say that uh, qualitative trait their example is sickle cell anemia and quantitative trait their example is a uh, thalassemia now we will discuss about what is polygenic inheritance which is also known as quant which is an example of quantitative inheritance as you know that poly mean many gene mean genic, genic mean genes so uh, when many genes collectively control a single character, it is called polygenic inheritance or we can define in this inheritance one quantitative character is controlled by more than one genes. For example, this is a single character and it is controlled by one gene, one gene, two as well as a gene three. So when a single character is controlled by more than one genes, then the inheritance is known as polygenic inheritance. The phenotype is dependent on number of dominant alleles. These are the characteristics of the polygenic inheritance. Each dominant allele contribute in development of phenotype. Maximum expression is obtained when all dominant alleles of all genes must be present together. In this inheritance, phenotype is highly influenced by environment. As we know that genes always interact with the environment to produce the phenotypes. So the types of phenotype can be obtained by this formula 2n plus 1. Types of genotype is obtained by this formula 3 power n and zygotic combination can be obtained by 4 power n while n is the number of alleles example kernel color or we can say skin color of wheat sorry kernel color of wheat it is a two polygene or we can say it's controlled by two genes in human skin color is controlled by three polygenes in human height is controlled by five polygenes in human intelligence is controlled by 25 polygenes and further of polygenic inheritance is called reuter. So we will take the example of a kernel color of wheat or we can say in fluorescence color of wheat studied by Nelson Illy and it is controlled by two polygenes A and B. When we cross maximum expression here is present when we cross paver red color with paver white color. So in the F1 generation in their offspring we produce intermediate red color which is different from this father and uh, this so we can say that uh, the offspring is totally different from their parents afan selfing when we produce a two generation so afan cell mean we cross f1 with uh, f1 and we obtain this type of result in which uh, some in the checkerboard you can see that some uh, rectangle you can see four dominant genes present three dominant genes present two dominant genes present and here are some cases in which no dominant gene is uh, present uh, there. So to interpret this table, you can see here that the number of dominant allele in this case is 4. And their color is red and it is parental type. When three dominant allele is present, uh, their color will be light red. And when, and when two dominant allele is present, for example, in this case, you can see the color is intermediate uh, red. 
and they are produced six in number and one dominant allele when they are present it produce very lighter or redder and total offspring which is produced is a four number in which no dominant allele it is a favor white and they are parental type and it produce a one so the ratio we can say that uh, yes genotypic ratio is one ratio four ratio six ratio four ratio one now we'll interpret this result further that in a two generation phenotypic ratio is one ratio four ratio six ratio four ratio one while genotypic ratio is one ratio two ratio two ratio four ratio one ratio two ratio one ratio two ratio one and types of phenotype is produced by this formula two n plus one n is equal to the number of alleles so two multiplied by two is equal to 4 and 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So, 5 types of phenotype is produced. You can see here in the table that 5 different types of phenotype is produced red, light red, intermediate red, very light red, and white. And the num type of genotype can be obtained by this formula 3 power n. So, the number of allele which control polygenic inheritance and kernel color in a wheat is 2. So, 3 multiplied power 2 is equal to 9. In zygotic comp combination, how many offsprings are produced? So, 4 power n. And n is equal to the number of alleles are uh, present, control the polygenic inheritance. So, 4 power 2 is equal to 16 number of offsprings are produced. And percentage of parental plant, as we uh, see that in 16 offspring, 2 are parental type. So, 2 divided by 16 multiplied by 100%. So, it will be 12.5%. As we know that uh, the polygenic inheritance is a continuous variation. Uh, in which each and every type of is a present. Another example is human skin color which is controlled by three polygenes and it is studied by Devon Ford between marriages and African Negroes with European. So, uh, controlled by three polygenes, capital A, capital B and C. Where in maximum expression in which we cross Negro with a white color, it produces a intermediate which is brown color or a mulatto. So, here we can say uh, that polygenic inheritance is a type of inheritance uh, in which many genes controlling uh, or collectively control a single character. It is known as polygenic inheritance. If you like the video, please share, subscribe and watch. Thank you.